high questions in analysis in this textbook. Let E be a no empty upper bounded subset of real numbers. And let B star be a real number characterized by one. B star is the upper bound of E. Cool. For any epsilon greater than zero, there exists at least one element x in E such that x is greater than B star minus epsilon. Show that B star equals supreme E. Solution. Suppose that B is a upper bound of E. If B is less than B star, then B star minus B is greater than zero. Let epsilon equal B star minus B. By condition two, there exists X in E such that X is greater than B. This implies B is not a upper bound of E. This contradiction shows B star is equal to O less than B for O upper bound B of E. By the definition of supreme, B star equals supreme of E. Let A be B two no empty sets of real numbers. If A is contained in B and B is bounded, show those in the coordinates. Solution. By the definitions, infimum A is equal to O less than X and X is less than O equal to supreme A for O X in A. This says infimum A is equal to O less than supreme A. Let B0 equals infimum B. Since B0 is a loyal bond of B, B0 is equal to O less than B for O element B in the set B. Since A is contained in B for O elements in the set A, B0 is equal to O less than A. This implies the infimum B is a lower bound of A. By the definition of infimum, the infimum B is equal to O less than infimum A. Let B1 equals supreme B. Since B1 is an upper bound of B, B is equal to O less than B1 for all elements B in the set B. Since A is contained in B for all elements A in the set A, A is equal to O less than B1. This implies B1 is an upper bound of A. By the definition of supreme, the supreme A is equal to O less than E1. This says the supreme A is equal to O less than supreme B. We thus conclude those inequalities. Let A be a no empty set of real numbers. That is upper bounded, and let R be a real number. Show that we have those two identities. Solution: We want to prove those two identities. For y in this set, y equals R times x for a x in A. Since the supreme A is equal to O greater than X and R is greater than zero. R times supreme A is equal to O greater than Y. This implies R times supreme A 
is a upper bound of this set. So R times supreme A is equal to or greater than the supreme of this set. Now, for any x in A, y equals R times x is in this set. And then x equals y over R. Since supreme of this set is equal to O greater than Y, and uh, 1 over R is greater than 0. 1 over R times supreme of this set is equal to O greater than X. This implies 1 over R times supreme of this set is a uh, upper bound of A. So, 1 over R times the supreme of this set is equal to O greater than supreme A. This says the supreme of this set is equal to O greater than R times supreme A. We just conclude this identity. For Y, is in this set, y equals r plus x for some x in the set A. Since the supreme A is equal to or greater than x, r plus supreme A is equal to or greater than y. This implies r plus supreme A is a upper bound of this set. So, R plus supreme A is equal to or greater than supreme of this set. Now, for X in A, Y equals R plus X is in this set. And X equals Y minus R. Since supreme of this set is equal to or greater than Y, supreme this set minus R is equal to or greater than X. This implies the supreme of this set minus R is a upper bound of A. So the supreme of this set minus R is equal to or greater than supreme A. This says supreme of this set is equal to or greater than R plus supreme A. We just conclude this identity. Thanks for watching. Bye.